Ruth here, and well, I've migrated to the floor because this box is bigger than the space available on my desk, and my desk is currently messy. Again. Um, so, I'm just trying out this new pen, uh, this new one pen, this um, new knife thing. But, um, it's not as sharp as it advertised, so I don't know if it's not very good, or I'm just not holding it properly. I don't know. Can't really tell this thing. But, eh. You'll probably see this in a little open video of its own because it's from Kickstarter. But anyway, yes. <clears throat> a little blade key ball keychain thing. Anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> Let's see if I can move this backwards. I move myself backwards a tiny bit. And you can Place this more on the floor instead of on the legs. Ignore the uh, the BGs, if you will. <laughs> yes, this is awesome. Awesome. They package this nicely. What did I order? Oh, that's... Ah, yes, okay. So it's a lot of stuff in there. Um, it's the... Well, besides what you see here, this is from a different collection, because obviously there's not two sets of six in one collection. But that one is from the Arabian Nights collection. It's the Shimmer Ink Pads six pack. And this is the, for, for this collection, it's the Enchanted Ocean. This is the Duetting Pads. New colors as well. So I already have it in here. Oh, yeah. Look at the new apples. Or, would it be... Is that the same? Look at the room seashells. Not quite got my contacts really, but yeah. Because it is the Enchanted Ocean collection. But anyway, I'm going to quickly take a picture of this because it's too good not to, you know? And the other thing I ordered was the 12x12 storage and supply case for drawer for my ink pads because I have a surplus. <laughs> They won't fit in my other. Well, some might, but not really. In my, because uh, I do have a four, a four drawer one for my ink pads, which you probably saw in a previous haul video. And uh, well, since buying these twelve <laughs> and the full collection of the color bloom ink pad set. I need a new case to put more inks in, so they don't just clutter up my desk space. Anyway, uh, the storage and supply case was $17.99, but this week it was a... Um, this is the last week of the March um, National Craft Month. March. It's the last week, and the last week's code was for storage, so I use that on that one. So 30% off that one. And the ink pads were $19.99. And this full Enchanted Ocean collection was $230. This is the first collection I've ever bought. That's, you know, the full collection. This one is the showstopper because it has everything in it. And um well 
see how big this is. And I think the original price, because this was like the showstopper price, because I got it on release day, because 230, and the retail I believe was around 280. And like, you know, add on my Club Inspire discount, I only paid 208 99 So like, basically the storage and supply case and the Raven Night sh uh, Shimmer Ink Pads were basically free and some of the uh, collection, that's the word, <laughs> was free because that one was priced at 230 you know, I only paid 208 99 like ink pads, $19.99. Case, $17.99. So it was it was a good time for discounts this one. So um <clears throat> let me get this out of the way. So I have my address on it. And I'll be right back. Okay then. Wow. The sun has come out much more. Just that second. Realize. Okay, um, so I guess we'll do this one first because this isn't part of the Enchanted uh, Ocean collection. Here is the lovely Arabian Nights Shimmer Ink Pad set. So we have Sunrise, Lagoon Blue, Pepper Red, Golden, Moonlight Sky, and Lavender Quartz. So on the back it shows these are the colors you can get. And since, you know, I've been getting all the ink pads, I couldn't, you know, resist not getting these ones, you know. So yes. Ta-da. Okay. Um, since we're on ink pads, here is the Enchanted Oceans Duet ink pad set. And these are all new colors. So I didn't want to get repeat colors. You know. <clears throat> I mean, it was okay, because you know when I dry up when they finish dry up you know, but eh. anyway this is Queen Conch Coral B Breeze Tropical Shallows Ocean Royalty Deep Pacific and Bay Blue Where are the colors? Hmm it's not paler than I thought <clears throat> anyway, still pretty cool, cool. Okay, um, well, as you can probably see down here, no, you can't because the camera's not even pointing that far. Down here is the uh, four drawer thing, the storage and carry case. Anyway, because it is very shiny looking at me, here is the four rolls of illusion film. Four meters per roll. Very, very nice. Does it say the color's name? I mean, unless it's kind of similar to what was out already. I don't think so. It doesn't have a name for them. Our illusion film has a shimmering, iridescent effect that ripples and changes with the light. Compatible with so many craft styles and techniques, illusion film is heat bondable, so you can combine and bond sheets together to create a unique multi-toned effect. So yes, get my fingerprints off that. <laughs> so like, that's like the iridescent one. Similar, looks similar to my, uh, Opal one that I bought. But anyway, next up, um, let's see. Ooh, that looks pretty. Here is some shimmer spray. The box is kind of open, so I'll just as I'll show you a tiny bit. Play it in shop. Maybe. has a ball bearing on the bottom as well.
Mm -hmm. There you go, see that there. It's kind of hard to tell when it's so bright in this room for a change. Anyway, it just says Shimmer Spray. There is no name before on any of it. Just says Enchanted Ocean Shimmer Spray. So, if it had a name, we'll never know. <laughs> Come on, get back in. I need to take my, my pictures after. Everything needs to be in its packaging for the proper picture. I don't know where on the floor we really set all this. Okay, so um, keeping with mixed media, I guess we'll stay on this side. Here we have Gilding Flakes Kit. I actually haven't used my other one yet. See, it's right there. Um, anyway, at least I'll have some more goldish colors. <clears throat> and I've got some more of them, which is good. And this is, uh, one sponge, one ink pad, one glue, one pot of gilding sticks. That is a mini pot, too. Anyway, very lovely. So that's that. Next up, we have some glitter paste. Shall I show you? Might as well. Bam. Ooh. Look at that. Lots of big specks in there. And some little ones as well. It's very... How would you say green? I guess. I keep on thinking of like mermaid green tail. It has something very similar, but a darker, darker one. In um, litter paste that was called mermaid's tail. That's from a different collection, which one. I've never used any litter paste before yet, so it should be fun to try sometime. So that is that. Um, next up, what shall we do? Um, since it's still next video, so we have shells. It's really bright right now. Uh, shells. Those strings just taped on the bottom. But it's not tape on tape on the top. I mean, that's I guess fine. But it's like uh, cabochons because they're flat backed, like they're kind of iridescent on the top, shiny iridescent, and something like that. No, be the right word. I don't know. So this is the green one. There's a pink and purplish one as well. Or is that supposed to be blue? I don't know. <laughs> um, there's the pink one. And the purple. Well, it looked purple. I guess this is the white one. Did I not get the right one? Pretty sure there's a purple one here. Yes. Come on. Okay. Here's the purple. Don't know if you can really see. Because it's real bright right now. But I'll take better pictures later. As you probably know by now. Okay, so. Let's see. Here we have the Enchanted Ocean's Aqua Brush Pen, Tricolor, Tricolor Aqua Pens, Brush Pens. I've never actually used any of these before, so that's pretty neat. 
And it's got three pens, but there are three colors on each, which is very cool. And they're supposed to blend very nicely together. Is it? <clears throat> I, I had some cereal for lunch. Anyway, it's a uh, gentle purple marine. That's the Ocean Breeze pen. The Under the Sea pen is Aquamarine, Evergreen, and Pine. Coral Reef pen is Sunset, Amber, and Teal. There's what it's very bright, isn't it? It's supposed to be raining off and on most of the days. Okay. Now, um, what should we do now? I guess since it's you kind of you kind of see that get you it's the seahorsey handsome seahorse stamp and die set so it's the stamp of the seahorse and the die of the seahorse basically very nice very nice so that's that one um and next up this one I'll do this. We have a joyful jellyfish. Then we have a hidden within the sea. Lots of seaweed and coral. Uh, let's say a uh, we're waiting for the last uh, create a card die. It's got an outside tray and inside could eat it. Yeah. <laughs> and we have some lovely stamps. Best fishes. So let's see, we got Oceans of Love, wishing you oceans of happiness. We were mermaid to be friends. You are amazing. Seize the day. Best wishes. May your day be a splash. You, me, and see. Hello. Um, birthday wishes and mommy kisses. Have a fantastic birthday. Always be yourself unless you can be a mermaid. Okay, so next handful. Okay. We have. Seashell Collection, a stamp and die set. And it is some lovely shells. <laughs> I'm not very uh, specific, specific. I mean, like, I'm guessing one you'd probably find a hermit crab out of that one. It's like a oyster shell, maybe? Conch sweat shell, maybe? I mean, that's just a Well, you know, I don't know. Okay, so we have though that shell. For some of those reminds me of one of those Pokemon. Anyway, here is a edge bowl. This is a harmony of shells. Even though it's got a starfish on it. Cause like that's a starfish. I'm pretty sure. Starfish are not shells, but there we go. Unless there, I've never seen a shell that's in the shape of a starfish. So, here. Anyway, here's your edge bowl. So that's nice. Next up, what is it? <clears throat> we're we're going to do the paper stuff last. Because it's less. Uh, Because I'll have to open the sides of them. So that's that one. That one. Those are paper. That's not paper. So, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm going to finish with the dies and fold with them the stamps. Then. There should be another one. 
There's one in there. Aha! Two more. Three more, maybe? No, that's not. Okay. That was a sneak peek. <laughs> okay, here we have some. It says seam binding ribbon, but whatever. It's a satin ribbon, I guess. And then these three colors. They're one meter in length and 0.75 inches in width. Three colors, one of each. And you gotta. I guess they kind of go along with the. Uh, the inks, maybe. So like the bottom one is closer to maybe bay blue. This one closer to tropical shallows, and this one closer to ocean world. That's my guess. Hmm. I'll get your color palette from somewhere, right? So that's that stuff. Next up. Let's put this in my lap. And the other stuff over here. <clears throat> okay, so largest. Uh, there's, there's another coral leaf. It's got lots of coral and seaweed. It's in the die set. It is no stamps, just dies. Nine pieces. So that's that one. Then we have the jubilant jellyfish. And the difference between the jellyfishes are and I can find it. This is just a metal die, and this is a stamp and die. And this is more detailed because you stamp on top of it. And the, uh, the poofy head bit is poofier. I mean, it's... Yeah. Okay. That's the difference. Um, then... <clears throat> Here we have a spiraling shell. I guess that's what you call it then. A spiraling shell. That's the die. Yeah, cut in and cut out a bit. Because you can, this I believe they uh, demoed it with the illusion film. So it gets shiny and stuff. So yeah. So you cut the illusion film with that one. Cut, you use both to uh, cut the, uh, I think you use both anyway. To cut the, uh, the shell segments out on a different cardstock. And smash them together. Well, no, glue them together. Okay, so this is one of my favorites. These two are one of my favorites. Some of my favorites. And this is the Stampin' Die set Mesmerizing Mermaid. And she's sitting on a rock, just like Ariel. The hair style is almost similar as well, actually, because it's off to the it's like a side parting off to the side. But she's got some wavy bits. And very thin forearms, too. Oh, yes. Love that one. Can't wait to color that one in. Next up, we have this very pretty, majestic mermaid. And it's just a metal die, so. And they used illusion film on that as well. And they demoed it. Super shiny. Now we have a 2D embossing folder, a 5x7. This is Charming Coral. And that's what we get. We got coral and seaweed up the wazoo, as they say. <laughs> Now the next 2D embossing folder is also 5x7, and this is Wonderful Waves. Mm. 
Where? Actually, hang on a minute. Ah, here. This is not paper. That is as well. That comes under it. This is the stencils. So let's do the test stencils first. Ta da! I was having my eye on maybe getting a mermaid stencil off Amazon, but luckily they got one in here, so I don't need to. They have five pieces inside this. And well, there's one with lots of coral. And like this one is lots of coral and seaweed. But so that one, right? If I look at it correctly, the stamp is well, not stamp, but the uh, die set that had all of the coral and stuff. I mean, this bit looks similar. So does this one. Maybe this one? Maybe the stencil coordinates with this a little bit? At least on some of them? I don't know if it coordinates with all of them, but it might help you color them in better. Then uh, stencil it, then die cut it out maybe? Who knows? We'll have to try it out sometime. And as you see over right here, you've got scales. And then... more shells I guess if it aligns with at least some of the stamp and die set you might be able to use this one to help you color them. Um what's the jellyfish on there? The fish two more moves in different poses first. And the that um that fish might be the one of those tropical ones. It wasn't, wasn't like one of those killer ones, you know? I mean, I don't think it was definitely not a, like, you know that, that black and white fish off finding you know? That's what it reminds me of. You know? Can't remember what the fish name is, though. So. <laughs> okay, so this is some close up, by the way. Also, this one is all coral, I believe. Don't think it's seaweed. But too rigid for seaweed. I mean, unless it's very rigid seaweed. It's like, that's seaweed. That's coral. By the looks of it. This one reminds me of like, the anemone that uh, clownfish hide in. But yes, five pack stencils. Um, next up is the stamps. It's a 26 piece stamp set. Awesome! I need to get all these stamps. They want my legs grabbing. <laughs> all of these stamps. Isn't that awesome? We got fishies. Oh, clownfish. Very long. I love doing clownfish. Mm, maybe a tiger fish? I don't know. We got a trident. Triton. Uh, trident, I mean, crown, jewel, seaweed, octopus, um, starfish, oyster, and a pearl, swirl, shell, starfish, if I said it right. Yeah, see, hermit crab. Um, paunch, what was it? I don't know. And, uh, three, four, four mermaids. Or go one up here to here and a back of a mermaid right there. Though that looks kind of similar to the back of the, the stamp and die set mermaid because it's sitting on a rock, but obviously it's not the same uh, tail position. Anyway, awesome. I don't have any mermaid stamps, so I'm very happy with that. Okay, so. What should we do first? I don't really need to show you all of it because it shows up on the front. But here is action a bit from here. By the way, it's quite kind of a bit but it's fine. That's fine. Anyway, this is the A4 Luxury Learning Card Pack. 
24 pieces, 250 GSM, 8 colors, 3 shades of each. Yeah. All those colors up there. Very nice, very nice. Next, I see something shiny. Here is the luxury foiled acetate, 38 microns, 23 designs, two sheets of each. What kind of makes me not want to use it? Look how shiny that is! Look at that bubbles. There's yes, six piece set, three designs, two of each. We got coral and seaweed and starfish, waves and bubbles. Should I show you? I'll show you, right? Now, let me just move this off to the side a tiny bit so I can stretch out my leg because I like getting crap. <laughs> okay. So. Am I able to open this? No, oh, it's coming. Right. Oh, I'm just taking a lot more. Okay. Look at that. I wonder if I put it up higher. Look at that, it's so beautiful. And it's just a silver foil on the back. It's rainbow holographic. On the front. I kind of don't want to put it. I'm going to put it straight back in so I don't get any fluff on it. And look at that. I should probably show the one closer with the back of the but anyway. That's that. Now this one I can't really tell if it's... It's kind of... Well, this is real thick. Acetate. Anyway. Beautiful. So pretty. Because I can use the uh, the bubbles as a uh, foreground part. Like put a mermaid behind or something. Or, you know, do like that. Okay, so technically acetate's not really paper, but it's also listed in the paper collection as well. On the listing, I mean the paper collection. Hang on. I need to get my my knife thing. And to open up these
Okay. Okay, so I, I, I opened the, the sides of all of the paper pad to make this faster. So this is the Enchanted Ocean Acid and and it's free. Uh, 12 by 12, 180 GSM, 36 double sided sheets. I want to do a quick cursory overview. And there are all the sheets. So, the wonder why the, well, at least the outside of the pad is the thing with them is looking at that. So, there's the B. The B side, if you can call it that, that is very lovely, so we go on. And here's the A side, with all them fishies. I'm holding it sideways, by the way, not like this kind of space. So. Very pretty. I just want to go into the water. Deep sea there. So, so we've got some lemons on that side. Oh, it's very nice. Very nice. Yes. So that is that. And by the way, as you can see, the four door down here. Anyway, to go along with that, here is the 6x6 paper pad. It's exactly the same. You can probably see the entire thing better. Just shrunken down. Next up, we have basically the same, but this is it's 150 GSM, GSM, 24 sheets, an 8x8 multi sheet vellum pad. 24 pieces, I didn't say that. This looks stunning. It's only Really, the A side that has designs because, as you can see, the vellum is you sort of see the hand shadow on the eye, so you can see very nice. I've never used a vellum pad before. So it's gonna be nice. Ooh. One on the top, and one on the bottom. I think that one is the only one that you can really see a mermaid on, I think. That pale orangey one. He was more so at mermaid there. There's a fin there. Move here and down here. Mm. I don't think the the other ones have mermaids on. Yeah, I think that's the only one. Yeah. So these vellum. The, on the vellum, it looks like a watercolor kind of effect. Now here we have the resist pad. So our bubbles pad. 
Oh my gosh. Is it two of each now? Charles Williams. Twelve sheets. Yeah, two of each. That would make sense. Pretty cool. I guess. Oh, there's all of it. Yes, six beautiful, beautiful designs, two of each. Resist pad, so I guess from the demo you just add ink or whatever on it and the actual design will uh, resist. So like the inside will get colored, just not the line. No, not the lines, but the inside will be colored. And this is seems to be done on a very beautiful, like, white, pearlescent cardstock as well. Very nice. So yeah, that's, that's everything. Well, um, not sure how I'm going to set this up for when I take my pictures, but... Yeah, I don't know where to start. <laughs> so, this is the biggest um, haul, maybe, so far? Because this is the first collection I've ever bought, like the full showstopper collection I've ever bought. Uh, I reiterate. Um, yes. So this was, I believe, haul number 18, if I didn't specify that before. Which I don't think I did. Crafters Companion, haul number 18, I believe. So, thank you for watching. I'll do more in-depth, at least closer, pictures and the whole group picture after I finish talking. So thank you for watching. Over and out.